Using a $15 shareware utility known as ControllerMate, OS6 users can restore much of the missing functionality in their uh, de novo Edge wireless Bluetooth keyboard. This small utility allows users to map individual keys and bind them with specific functions. As you can see here, the controller mate has recognized the Logitech Genovo Edge. If by chance it is recognized as an unknown device, simply visit the controller types menu option, highlight the unknown device, and name accordingly. What we will go ahead and do is create uh, two very simple key bindings, one for the email reader and another for the search key for the search key we'll do with the first search key so let's go ahead and press the key controller mate will give you visual feedback for which key you are pressing which is ac search drag this into the programming area return to the drop down menu and select your output because i want ac search to open spotlight which i have specified as option spacebar and system preferences I'm going to select single key and drag that into the programming area and bind this with the key. Visit the inspector window and select option and open the keystrokes palette and drop spacebar. What this does is it binds the keyboard shortcut option spacebar with the search button on the de novo edge. Go ahead and save this and we will make sure that this works. It actually opens up Spotlight, opens up my last search. We can uh, search for any number of documents or simply close Spotlight with the same keystroke. Let's go ahead and create a second binding here. Second one will be for the email reader. Drag this into the programming area. We can use this key bu this button to open a default email reader, mail app, Eudoria, or any number of POP3 clients, iMac clients that you may have in your application folder. Or we can use it to open Gmail, which is what I do and use for my um, email application choice. So what I've done is I've bookmarked Gmail and saved the bookmark to my documents folder. I'm going to go to the extras drop-down menu and drag the finder option and find that with the key. In the inspector window, I'm going to specify my Gmail bookmark, open that, and we'll go ahead and save that. And pressing that to make sure it works, we'll open my Gmail, refreshing it again since it was already open. Very, very easy to use, intuitive, drag and drop. Trial and error are the best way to experiment with this utility. There's no restart required to, to enable any of these customizations. As you can see here, I've used it to customize the sidebar buttons on the de novo edge. I use these to zoom in and out of the screen when sitting away from the desk. Great from using the computer as a media center. I've also binded the media keys to uh, iTunes shortcuts that I usually use. I can also use these to bind to uh, DVD player functions uh, using any one of the drop-down options or keyboard shortcuts. You can actually activate Apple scripts with keys, specific keys. Uh, MX Revolution users who are worried that it may uh, cause problems with Logitech's LCC utility, system preference utility, can feel comfortable knowing that they can disable that LCC utility and rely on controller mate to customize their mouse as I have done so here. I've mapped um, the buttons on the mouse to specific actions outputs on um, the computer. As you can see here, um, browsing, uh, I've, I've changed the triggers to go back and forward in pages. I've also used the sidebar thumb scroll, thumb scroll, scroll to activate specific expose options based on keyboard uh, shortcuts in the system preferences. The utility is very flexible. You can use it for any number of peripherals, mapping out joysticks, and gaming controllers. Check it out, $15 for the shareware utility license or a 20-minute demo to see if it's something that you can work with.